Christensen. Welcome back. We give you a look at our Mount Lemmon webcam. And boy, have we seen some beautiful clear skies today. I think if you look real carefully, you might just see Miss Jennifer Waddell <laughs> with the little ones in tow. Word has it she was headed up the mountain to see a little bit of snow for the little ones. So clear skies on our sky cam, and that is great news if you want to see the night after Christmas sky show that we've got coming up. This is a perfect planet pairing, if you will. Venus and the crescent moon just before sunset. So sunset is at 526. So right about now through uh, the evening, you'll be able to see the crescent moon and Venus very close together. Quite the conjunction and with our clear skies it will jump out at you uh, from the western sky so after the newscast you get a chance pop your head outside and check it out clear skies 60 degrees right now wind is variable that simply means from all over the compass at about five miles per hour we're at 43 at this hour in Sholo 50 degrees in Safford 51 Wilcox 51 in Oracle after a 56 degree high Tucson at 64 degrees now I know I was gone for some of last week, but we had seven days in a row with high temps in the 50s at Tucson's airport. Yesterday, we jumped up to 63. Today, 64, and that is smack dab where we should be. It's our 30-year average. We're right in line with our normal, uh, but we're going to see a big warm-up here over the next couple of days. And I know that's good news for some of the folks that I've been hearing from on Facebook and email and calling me saying, hey. This seems a little chilly, even uh, for us here during the month of December. And if you've been thinking that that was the case, you'd be right. Did a little bit of digging. We went back, looked through the climate uh, reports here. Going back to 2010, the month of December had 20 days either at or warmer than 70 degrees. In fact, I think there were three or four that were actually 80 degrees uh, or warmer. We have not had any 80 degree days here during the month of December in 2011. And we've only had two days where the temperature was 70 degrees or warmer. So so fear not, we bring good tidings of high pressure for those of you who are tired of the cold. This high pressure is going to stay hovering around the desert southwest here over the next couple of days. And you'll notice in your seven-day forecast, we have a warming trend. Our 70s will certainly be making a comeback. But yeah, we alluded earlier in the newscast to the warm weather, relatively speaking, that they've been having in the Midwest. Chicago today, a high of 45, Memphis 49, Kansas City uh, 49 degrees as well. That will soon be a thing of the past, though, as the storms system here and its associated cold front getting set to swing up through the Great Lakes and then headed off to the northeast. So their temps are going to cool off. Yeah, they had the warmest Christmas day in 17 years in Chicago. Man, and the first in, in I think it was 14 years that there has not been snow on the ground for Christmas. I have to admit I was a little bummed about that. Our lows tonight in the 20s and 30s, 26 Wilcox, 33 Oral Valley, the same for you in cells. Now cells tomorrow warming to the mid 60s. You'll be in the upper 50s in Wilcox, 68 for Douglas. Uh, Tucson uh, tonight at 33, Green Valley at 31, Benson at 30, and then tomorrow 64 Benson, 67 in Tucson. Here's the forecast for the rest of the year. Look at this. Doesn't get much better than that, right? Clear skies. Temps warming to the 70s by Thursday will be at 71, 73 Friday, and then New Year's Eve day, a high of 70, 71 for the start of 2012. Kagan 9 on your side at 5. We'll be right back.